Radio Studios Executive Editor Ozonna Onoye joins me now from JOS, the Plateau State Capital, for more on the crisis ravaging the state. Uh, Ozonna, thank you for joining us at this time. Well, most of the people who spoke in that report are mainly from outside Plateau State. And one would have thought that uh, the state has a huge role to play in quelling the lingering crisis. What exactly is the position of the state governor in all of this? Well, uh, after the meeting, uh, when the media was asked to excuse the sitting, um, they had a closed door session that lasted for about an hour or a little, a little more. Then at the end, the state governor, Simon Lalong, addressed everyone where he recognized fully that the responsibility of restoring peace and ending the crisis in Plateau State lies absolutely in the hands of the state. Here he refers to uh, the people that are indigenous people of Plateau, settlers and even residents. The task of maintaining peace and order in the state is in their hands because people like the uh, secretary to the federal uh, uh, government of the federation, beg your pardon, and other state governors that came from their areas for this meeting had gone. And the people are living with themselves. So it's time, according to the governor, it's time for everyone to shit their sword and you know, focus on what will help the state to make progress. He also addressed uh, politicians who uh, kind of enjoy or find favor with what is going on on the plateau at the moment. They twist every narrative to suit their own interests of discrediting the uh, government. He said that it will not uh, favor or go well with anyone. And then he had a word for religious leaders who use their platform to preach hate. Uh, let's listen to exactly what he said at that meeting, then we'll continue. He said a different thing from what these people say. You are not a good plateau man. I will say that. I even made a decree here that religious leaders will be very watchful of what they preach outside. And I said I will go and start arresting people. I deliberately left it. But today we've heard from the pinnacle. They have told us how to live together. So I wake up on Sunday and I see, uh, on, the, on Friday, and I see hate speech. I promise you I will go after them. Because that is not the tenet of Christianity, or that is not the tenet of Islam. You are inciting people to go and cause Christ. He, the, the warning came so hard and harsh to some people for the governor to say that he will go after anyone who uses his platform to destabilize the state. He actually said that he had warned about this earlier, but because of the sentiment and the sensitivity of the issue, he, he kind of uh, played it down, but not anymore. And that is a, is a huge warning. But right on the streets of, of Jos, where we uh, passed through throughout today, uh, there's some relative peace, yes, some business activities going on, but as soon as darkness began to uh, set in, people began to wind up. Remember, there's still curfew in some parts of uh, the state, just north local government, where there is a six to six curfew, and just south, they have 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. So that's exactly what's going on in Plateau State at the moment. Uh, all right, uh, Ozona, just today we're hearing about the death of about four people uh, again. Uh, so it appears in some way that these crises, these acts of violence actually take place in the rural communities, maybe non not necessarily in the urban centers where uh, you'd have formations of security operators and all of those. Uh, is there any specific word about what would be done to manage the situation in such areas? As a matter of fact, it's no longer in the rural communities because there was an incident around the, the University of Jos, where the University of Jos is located, is not exactly a rural area. 
but there was an incident in that area. Just north local government and just south local government are all urban areas. So it's no longer much about uh, be taking place in the rural areas. However, the state government is still confronting it. The declaration of curfew was one of the measures to stem, you know, to calm down the nerves and um, allow the security agencies to mop up and operate and find out if they could uh, nip such actions in the board and not allow it to take place before they act. Yet, at that, there are still some cases. We, we hear of, uh, the, you, uh, as you rightly mentioned, the killing of four people. And there was another incident in another local government that we will try to get to before coming back to Lagos, where um, headers took their cattle into a farm. Mm. Cons the cattle consumed the crops there. And the much that uh, the cattle couldn't finish, we were told that the headers used their cutlasses to destroy them. We mm -hmm. will go to find out what the truth situation is. But mm -hmm. these are incidents that will continue to uh, create problem and tension in, in Plateau State right. until the people, the leaders of the people, decide to pass across the message of peace to their followers. Indeed, and that's one message that the governor, Simon Lalong, is actually emphasizing at this time, speaking to politicians, religious leaders, and uh, all of those. Executive Editor, TVC News, is on Onoye. Thank you for sharing your thoughts with us at this time.